Hi, I'm Alexis. I work here at Sugar Plum and the Grumbling Growler. I'm Samantha Troutner, and I'm the newest gallery associate with Sugar Plum and Grumbling Growler. We work here with Tanya. Uh, thankfully, she's given us both the opportunity to work for one of her businesses. Um, I've been here for a year's time, and it's obviously been one of the best experiences in my adult career. Um, so I've been really thankful for every opportunity that she's given me. Uh, prior, I did work for different corporate America businesses as a graphic designer, but here she's given me the opportunity to be the creative director. She has given us the experience that we've needed to succeed in the business world. Um, anything that we do would like to learn from her, she's will willing, very willing to share with us. Um, and she's shown us as, as a woman that you're able to care about your business and be a very strong mom and be a very strong uh, role model for everyone around you. I've started working for Miss Tanya for about a few months now, as well as Alexis and all the other wonderful people here on staff, and I couldn't be more grateful. It's been a wonderful experience. I can tell I'm going to be here for many more years to come. It's a company that actually lets you grow and expand, show your creativity. I'm so thankful for this experience and for the wonderful staff here that's helped me out and has become family. Working with Miss Tanya has been a pleasure. You know, she's a wonderful mother. She's able to multitask and balance so many things, which I'm terrible at. I don't know how she has, what, four kids? And <laughs> it was like, let me run a school, let me run my winery, let me run a gallery. She can do it all, and I aspire to be the type of woman she is. One of the most wonderful memories I've had is um, we had our first Latin event here. So we try to do a lot of different things that the community will love, and our bathrooms weren't doing so great from the amount of people that came and she was here in sweatpants, t-shirt, hair back, just doing the dirty work and I thought that that was amazing for someone to do so much for their business and not care to get a little dirty to make sure that everyone was having a good time. That um, when she would introduce her, herself as the owner, people were like, why are you here cleaning? She's like, this is my baby. So um, she's gonna do everything she can to make it like a wonderful place so that was very inspiring to me because I feel like it doesn't matter um, what you're doing as long as it's as a team then we're all having a good time. Our front mural was made by Miss Yellow and she's an amazing artist and she lives out in LA and what we asked of her was to just create something that was very vibrant, very welcoming um, to represent a lot of the different people here in this community and she nailed that. So we're really thankful for that piece. Everyone's always welcomed by it, and they think it's like out of the norm from the rest of the street, but it really, she did her, her part. It really makes us stand out. Hi, welcome back. Um, it is my pleasure to be a sponsoring host, um, once again, for the Women in Media Convention. Um, thank you so much for asking me to come back a second year. And I really just wanted to give a recap of what we've been doing and what I've been doing for the past year since we spoke last. We um, did a new set of murals at my husband and I's gallery, the Sugar Plum and the Grumbling Growler. This mural is dedicated to the community. We are in uh, downtown Lake Worth, Florida, and we have a very large Guatemalan and Mexican community. So we commissioned this mural um, with Miss Deity from California. She flew down and did this mural and the next mural that I'll be talking about. And this one in particular, is a dedication to the Mexican and Guatemalans of this area that have worked so hard and they're an integral part of what we do here in Lake Worth. This mural is even closer to my heart um, than the first mural that I spoke about. My husband, the partner to this gallery, the grumbling growler to my sugar plum, his family, part of his family is from Ghana and when we commissioned this piece, we commissioned this piece around um, about a month away from his birthday. So as a surprise, we commissioned a painting of a Ghanaian princess. The artist, Miss Deity, she looked for different women um, throughout the internet and she just happened to find one, a beautiful picture that she thought was a stock image and she painted it based on the, the stock image. It turns out that she is an actual um, Ghanaian model and she wrote to us all the way from Ghana and said thank you for doing this mural. So while our other mural represents the community, 
This mural represents the love that my husband and I share, which is the entire reason why we started this art gallery and bar. To make a long story short, um, I started a wine label, as some of you may know, in, um, in 2015, 2016. The wine was produced and bottled in 20, early 2017 and I found it really hard to get into area bars in South Florida. And it wasn't just hard, it was everyone said no. And I am not a good person with that word. <laughs> so it propelled me, it basically motivated me to want to do my own thing. I remember in the very early days of my wine label, um, someone from a liquor distributor told me that there's no way I would make it. A, there's no women in the field. Um, and B, people just don't like wine that much. Well, this was about seven years ago and I'm pretty sure people not only like wine, they love wine. So cut to when I met my husband in, um, in the summer of 2017, I, I found out how much he loved craft beers and my love for wine. So the two of us on a dinner napkin in New York, in a New York bar, we wrote the idea for what is now known as the Sugar Plum and the Grumbling Growler. When at first, when we first brought the idea to the city of Lake Worth, they weren't as excited about it as we were. But when we mentioned that we didn't mind doing art as well as a wine and beer bar, then the city got on board. It has been now, it's, it's my life goal to get other women, not just into the wine industry, but into entrepreneurship as a whole. You don't have to have a lot of money to be an entrepreneur. You don't have to give up your, your day job. You can be a mom, you can be a wife, with kids, without kids, um, you can be single. There's no prerequisite to be an entrepreneur. The one thing that you do need is drive. I sleep, eat, and drink this. The only thing that makes me take pause is if there's anything going on with my children. As long as they're happy, safe, and healthy, then I push harder in the, in the world of entrepreneurship. Um, but I am doing this because of them. I have three girls, three young girls under the age of um, 12. They're all three or four. Um, and then I have a son, he's 12 years old. And it's, I do this for them. I want them to have someone to look up to. And I do it with my husband because I want our children to know that no matter what, my husband and I are a united front with everything in, at home and in business. So I hope you're enjoying the convention. And once again, Danielle, thank you so much for inviting me. I can't wait to come back next year and I hope everyone is enjoying the wine. Have a great week.